This video is brought to you by Let's Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Um. Hey, Dan Larson here, welcome to the newest Synthesize Sunday episode. Now, we all love frequency modulation, right? Because with those synthesizers that offer this option, we can create awesome sounds like dubstep sounds, even pads, awesome effects or neuro basses or any kind of sounds basically. But what if I told you that basically you never used frequency modulation before? I'm going to use operator for this demonstration. Now I could have used Serum, but Serum's LFO speed is very limited to about 70 Hz or something, but with the uh, operator LFO we can go a lot higher. So operator is a tool that I'm going to use now. Now let's start with the regular thing that you would do. So you take one sine wave and you, and you modulate it with another sine wave. Now the sine wave that you are trying to modulate is the carrier and the sine wave that you are modulating it with is the modulator. Okay, so this is a sound that you get now and this is how it looks. So the frequency of that is 43 Hz. And when you start modulating it with the same sine wave, with the same frequency and same phase position and raising the amplitude or raising the level, this is a sound that you get. Now it is very important to listen carefully or look carefully. And if I increase the course, now what is the course? Course is basically a frequency multiplier. So I'm using F0 now and the hertz of that is well at around 43 hertz. If I click course 2 it is going to be the double of that. 3 is a third so it is going to be at around 130 hertz. 4 is a 4 times, 5 times, 5 times etc etc. And every second, 4th, 8th, 16th etc is an octave. So it is very important to know. But I wanted to show you is if I increase the course, you can see that basically the source sine wave totally disappeared and what you get is just very high frequency noise, very high frequency metallic kind of noise. So this is what you get when you use operator as a frequency modulator tool. Now let's use frequency modulation using the LFO because as you can see we can here set the destination of the LFO to operator A and that means that it's going to drag the pitch up and down something like that so something like this and this is what we're going to do using the LFO it is very very simple to do set the amount and start cranking up the rate okay we can go higher if you choose the high drop down menu crack out the amount so you will be here a lot better what is going on here so from this point or till this point it almost looks like the same but if we go higher So as you can see, we still have the source sine wave and we just added very high frequency noise to it. It is very, very simple that we got when we used this thing here. Why is that? We use frequency in the modulation on both of the side, right? So when, we, when I used operator B or I used the LFO, both of them are frequency modulation, right? So why does it sound very, very different? Every frequency modulator synthesizer is basically phase modulator synthesizer. So they don't frequency modulate, they phase modulate. If you want to learn more about music production, click here. So first, let me just show this. So this is frequency modulation. So what is happening here is when the red waveform is on a higher position or a higher phase, the carrier signal is going to be lower frequency. And when it changes direction or changes phase, it is going to increase the frequency of the carrier. So basically what it does is just drags the pitch up and down based on the frequency of the modulator. So it's the same if you just, you know, suck your knob and just try to drag it back and forth or a fader up and down. You just make a whoa, 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 whoa kind of thing. But what is phase modulation? Now, that is a little more complicated, but it is still not very hard to understand. This little animation can explain it really well. 
So you have the source sine wave that it has a phase. As you can see, this blue line represents the position of the phase going up and down. And the position of the modulator sine wave, the orange sine wave, changes the phase or the position of the blue sine wave. And the result is here on the green waveform. So basically, phase modulation does not change the frequency of the sine wave, the original sine wave, the carrier, but the phase of that. Of course, it will result in frequency differences, but the end result will be a little different. So what it does is basically not just drags the pitch up and down, as an LFO would do, but somehow more like the phase of the carrier based on the modulator. And if you do it on a really high frequency, you can create those very modern and very lovely metallic kind of sound that we love to use, for example, to dubstep or neuro or any other thing. Okay, so once again, when you use operator or even serum using FM from B, it's basically phase modulation and this is how it looks. But if you use frequency modulation, this is the result that you get. Okay, so now I hope you understand what is the difference between frequency modulation and phase modulation. And now you can go and create awesome music. I was Larson. See you next time, guys. Peace.